Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Sally Face Episode 1. Sally Face is a kind of creepy surreal adventure game where you play a boy wearing a prosthetic mask who also has blue pigtails as they kind of go for their weird world. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Light switch. Huh, dog. Answer phone. I'm gonna ignore you for the real quick moment. The key. Q. Now I'll answer the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is gonna be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sound like my dad. There's a cute dog portrait on the wall, that's all I really care about. No, oh, great. The old you come out of a brick wall trick. Let's see, check out room B. I sure hope this isn't one of those mazes. It totally is. Hmm. There's number three over there. It's a third door? Possibly. Let's... That number wasn't there for no reason, I imagine. But this time I don't see a number. If the number has nothing to do with the door, then I'm imagining... It's... you're, you're spilling a word. But, since I don't really know where I started off... Yeah, we reset it. So we were actually... I think on the right route. So... D... And the third door... Do... Do... Dog? Dog portrait. Made sense. What are you people looking at? Dog. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Well, that's... Uh, that's a grizzled dog. Huh? Go see for yourself. Diane Fisher, beloved mother and wife. What does a dog mean? I see that a lot in my career. Because I never get an answer. Barry's not included. Hmm. Let's exit out for one moment. Oh, it broke. So it was... Well, that was useless. Fake puzzle. Dad? And you have blue hair. Dad? You're not my son. My son is not a murderer. Listen, Dad. I don't even know where I am. This is your fault. Does the dog represent me? Could have been a symbolic murder, too. Mur like death at childbirth. Mom? Are you? And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes. It's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later. But for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. 
The art style of this reminds me of an old MTV cartoon. Like those old violent ones. Kind of like sketchy, constantly moving, jittery thing. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Sure, Dad. Uh, I'll make some friends while looking like th this. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. They'll just think I'm... They'll just think I'm an anime cosplayer or something. It'll, it'll be normal. Leave. Sal's room. Dad's room. We might as well explore. And we can find some deepest lore here. Hey kiddo, decide to take a break from unpacking? That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. I miss mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. Someone misses Jersey. I know you do, but at least try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm hmm. Trying to get in too much trouble. As long as my existential crisis doesn't come out and overtake the world, I think I'll be fine. Cat! Meow. I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. There's actually a surprisingly big apartment. What was in this room? That's the bathroom? Nothing of note here. Some sleep aids. We'll take these. Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. Four oh two. Four oh one. No one's home. And of course we live on room four four, because four is the evil floor. At least in eastern countries. Hello? And why are you standing here? Officer. I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they are not to see. Now scram! I'll get paid to babysit. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks. You're good for public relations, aren't you? Who are you? I'm your very fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law. Actually, you don't be more fitting voice for you. I'm an officer of the law. They better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Whoops, wrong one. Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. My parents are dead. What was that wise ass? It's a bad man. Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid little kid. This is a good town we moved into. A murder on every corner. So we're on floor four. Let's try floor five. Renovated. There's gonna be some people living here. Locked. 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 This one's open. Hello? Sorry. I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir? Are you okay? This is a really great apartment we moved into. You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Does I look like I'm okay? What the? Does he do the newspapers? No, I can't select them. Hmm. 
leave. The bathroom looks pretty bad. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Uh, floor three. There's an insert key card for the basement, so I'm assuming we'll find one at some point. No one's home. Hey. Oh my! Sorry, you just startled me a little. You may be one of the new uh, guys from 402, yeah? Of all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Can you give me an answer why this place sucks? And is possibly haunted? No? Okay. 4 2. Room 202, no one's home. Room 201, no one's home. I heard noises, but I think it might just be the background music. No one's home. Yeah? Who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to my neighbors. Okay, come in. Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay, so I see... Uh, we have My Little Magic is Very Pony. Um, we got some... Some cheap figs that go into the garbage bin. Uh, Warhammer. Uh, dragons. And Five Nights at Frat Fads. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, kid? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. I once used to go to the cons myself. And a very fine cosplay I made. It was beautiful. It had butterfly wings. Everyone ran away, for some reason. Too revealing. Just as long as you're running, not in a gang or anything, you're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family. So if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. So... Yep, I know. You're speechless because you never seen such an awesome collection. It's pretty actually pretty poor. Mine's like much better. Yeah... Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. You live here alone? Yes. Alone? Look around you. I have all the waifus, I mean company, I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. And by be right back, I mean never. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment is have that full set. You can look all you want, but only think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? You bastard, I'll murder you. You dare talk shit about glitter ponies. I'll string your organs around the room like Christmas trick. My god, child, have you never seen my glitter ponies rainbow spectacular? It's the only greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies! Oh, the ponies! Don't even get me started about them pony butts. Um, I, I guess I missed that one. I have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Mm, this is okay. I'm gonna totally regret. So that's Charlie. We won't be going back there. Go to one. Anyone home? 101. Who are you? Ooh. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Err. Stupid good for nothing kids. So the witch lives there. Throw some water on that door and then get rid of her. Addison? 
you, you, you really added a customized thing, didn't you? Oh dear, whatever, uh, pardon me, Let, let's start over. Hello, young sir. You do resident of Asset Apartments room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I guess you're the owner. What do all that takes place within these walls, sir? You'll do good to remember that. Can I, can I come in? Heavens no, I'm afraid I'm quite protective about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. No one's home. Officer. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke of your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that, but it was totally murder. So long. Oh, I think I've talked to everyone here. I didn't like get any extra dialogue from uh, Sally. No, Lisa. Her name was Lisa. I'm mixing up the names. Hey, Lisa. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24/7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. No. Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building's well over 100 years old, you know? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I'll fix it. Yeah, most people see, do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. That's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff, focus on what makes you happy in life. Put your energy into that. Anime makes me happy. Not really. It just makes me sad and lonely. You betcha! How long have you been working here? So you know what happened in the 403. It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Miss Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a keycard to access from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. We got a few extras. Cool, thanks. This building haunted. So, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. Not just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets, mmm, and scary movies, mm, if you ask me. See ya. Hey, uh, Larry. Lots of tasty junk food. Not really hungry, though. So you're probably in there. Gee, sure I'm looking forward to using this. Not. Hey, uh, let me just barge into your home. Larry. Don't mind me. What the hell was that? It's nothing. It's nothing. I would have laughed if Larry was in the bathroom just minding his own business. Blue haired Jason mask comes in. It's locked. Are you Bart Simpson? Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come in. Doors open. Wow, Larry. Whoa, nice mask. Yeah. I'm screaming on the inside. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to what's worse by now. So I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? Like, what happened? 
I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started to call me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. Turned down to the exact opposite. Then they found my Facebook. You're kind of a king of dude, aren't you, Sal? Friendly strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Hey, uh, that's what your mom said too. Mama knows best. Why do you live in the basement? It's kind of stereotypical. My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the men this gig. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I can listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like a little bat cave. I think it's kind of nice. I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Faith. I thought it stands for San Francisco. Because, you know, it's pointing down because San Francisco sucks. Oops. I do have my own clothing line, so. Huh, it's actually for this metal band called Sandy's Fall. Oh, I get it. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, it's gonna change. Check out the song. It's the first single. Full album comes out in a few months. I don't think the game was intended to, like, handle my skills. Oh, yeah. So what happened in room 403? Two not so loud, man. What is it? Killer's still in the building. I didn't know that. Something happened. Are you high right now? I wish it was, man. Some scary shit. Can we turn on this metal music? What happened? Okay, so I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just fishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. No, you've done! Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. I tried to calm down, but before she gave him a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked, couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. I was peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but you didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creep. Oh my god. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, I don't think they're gonna print or anything. Oh my god, I went to his room. Did you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to the detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. And the word isn't enough. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Anderson. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Well, let's talk to his little mail slot. Ah, oh, I see. That's how he gets some rent. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Anderson tea please and thank you him, you give a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but they don't seem to love it. No, oh, he's... he's just, you know, he's not a bad guy. He's just a little paranoid. What is this thing? That's a, that's a police scanner. I can listen on a local cop channel. We don't have the internet here yet, so I gotta like do it like the old fashioned way. How the hell did you get this thing? Store for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract him long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective. Something they weren't looking for. Seems like a little brony figure in the ground or something. A brony killer always leaves his marks. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. They want to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'm calling the bank robbery hostage situation, and I should clear, clear out the car for sure. I guess it's buzz a few minutes until I figure out what wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so I can make these minutes count. 
I can use my walkie talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too, so no cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery of an armed robbery, like a gas station drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Oh um, yeah, guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Let your room let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. I like your paintings. That's a dog. And a funeral. Thanks, dude, it's my passion. Crowman and Wolf Boy. To be honest, my image really does work well with metal music. You ready? Gotta get up to my room first. Come on, once you get there. Okay, I gotta go to my actual room. Okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Oh boy. So fun. Okay, it's done. Heard a bunch of us hustling upstairs. So I think it worked. Go see you again at 403 now. I really think they're really unprofessional, you know. Like, okay, let's leave the cops that are watching the crime scene to go, like, to the robbery with representing other cops there. But, you know, whatever. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Looks like anything important. This looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. It's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about... I knew it! You bastard! There's these little fingers. Look like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know we can get him. Get out of there come down to the basement. I'm oh, great. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. It's a brony murder. Oh my god. Mr. Sanderson got the super rare one or something. So tell me about the day I was fixing the toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what we offered in the first place. That dude always did give him the creeps. There's something unsettling about him, you know? I know. Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. The main character, you bastard. Let go. I mean, Charlie isn't too fond of me. Still, so when he let me in, he gave me a still snacks with room. Snacks. Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. To take this baggie. You gotta slip the toy in without touching it. Why not get the feeling you've done this before? Huh, just watch too much TV. What's in the baggie? Or was. Oh yeah, that's a baggie, all right. Addison tea, please, and thank you. Maybe I'll need this. I'll distract him with tea. Hey man, you want some tea? Oh, is that Addison T you smell? Yeah, I just got some from. Oh, I just love Addison T. Give it here. Oh my god, what are you? Some kind of like alien? Oh, so tasty. So relaxing. Good. Now to steal. Arrgh. One dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. So if you get any more Addison T, I would love to. Mr. Acid already cut me off for the day. I need more Acid tea. We need more. It's not enough. Give me more Acid tea. Alright, you got a plan? 
Good idea. Better put money to sleep. It did, but only for a minute. Hmm. Well, I can make it stronger somehow. Actually, let me ask him like, about this. Who's Chug? I need to find some chemicals. I need some good stuff. Dad's sleeping pills. In the bathroom here. Dad, I need to take your pills. Keep a sleep aid. Great. Hey man, here you go. Got another cup of tea. But it's fresh, nice and hot. Well, maybe I don't want to overdo it. I probably had at least 20 cups today. Are you positive this is a um, new recipe from Mr. Anderson? Trying out. I already have three cups and I felt way better than the other kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that! Give it here! Ah, this is better than its original. I don't know how he... Sleep tight, pupper. Got the toy. Score. Do I give it to the cops or do I give it to what's his name face? I got the toy. Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give it to the detective and it'll be all over. Your officer. Brony did it. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How'd you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. So remember next time you come to us with this info, instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes sir, you got it. They would have never believed me. Welcome home. I can leave. Interesting. Later! See you later! I feel like your life's pretty rough. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. <laughs> oh no. No one was around. So I looked into the back window of the van. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see. Let alone a young child as you were. I guess I'm an adult here. So I'm assuming the entire game is just going back through his life. Fifteen years old and you only had witnessed two gruesome sense scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence had finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I mean, he still had the pony. If he was falsely accused, it just means he went in there and stole it when he had the chance and left. So it'd be more circumstantial, I guess. I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yeah, so you said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, that guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. 
I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all time is doing. I find you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal, I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? No. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today, and you also owe me $7,000. I expect a check in the mail, and I'm sending the government after you. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You don't speak the all of the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next section. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. Oh, God. So I hope you will let me help you. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. I guess a Jason kind of illusion, or the Michael Myers kind of purposeful. You might be the only one. Oh, it's a pretty guy, uh, fun adventure game. I do want to actually see more of this developed and whatnot. It's not really, I mean, so far it's not like a horror, horror game. It has like little aspects so far, but um, it really does give me that kind of MTV vibe. Uh, like, that's what I really feel. It's got a little bit. It got a little bit of edge. You got metal music, of course. And you got a little bit of satire and everything. But yeah, I look forward to uh, more of this adventure game. I think it's kind of uh, interesting. If you're interested in uh, supporting the game, they do have an itchy uh, go go kind of going on. Like you see the link right there, and you can also check out the description for more information. Um, and they're hoping to essentially finish the game off with, of course, more donations and support. But yeah, thank you all for watching me play Sally Face Episode One. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.